In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CuCl of 2 plus Zn. This is a single replacement reaction. The zinc is going to push the copper out. Copper will be all by itself, and then the zinc, that'll be with the chlorine in this zinc chloride. So this is a single displacement reaction. First thing we need to do with these net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. So when I look at this, I have copper here, copper here, zinc, zinc, two chlorines. We're done. It's already balanced. So that's kind of nice. Now we can write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, chlorides, very soluble. So we're going to write AQ for aqueous. This is going to dissolve and dissociate into its ions. Zinc, that's just a metal. Chloride again, very soluble, aqueous, and then copper, metal. So now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. And this is going to give us the complete ionic equation. So copper, we don't know its charge based on just looking at it. We have to look at what it's bonded to. Chlorine, that's going to have a 1 minus. We have two of them. This has to be 2 plus. So we have the copper 2 ion. I'll write the states later. Let's not do that now. Two chloride ions. And then for the zinc, it's just Zn solid. We're not going to split that apart in our net ionic equation. So those are the reactants. In the products, zinc is always 2 plus. That's its ionic charge. We said the chlorine, 1 minus. So we'll have Zn 2 plus the zinc ion plus 2 of the chloride ions, just like in the reactants. And then the copper, that's just Cu. So we have our products. This is our net ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions that are on both sides. In the reactants, I see I have two chloride ions right here and again in the products. So these are spectator ions. We can get rid of these, but everything else is unique. So that makes this the net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus Zn. I'll clean it up and write the states and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus Zn. We have our charge conserved. We have a 2 plus here. So this side is 2 plus over here. We have 2 plus. Charge is conserved. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for copper 2 chloride plus zinc. Thanks for watching.